Hi, my Libras. It's Jamie Zebra 23. I'm doing your weekly spread for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. I'm on all social media. It's Jamie Zebra 23. If you'd like a personal reading, you can check out the website, jamiezebra23.com. My readings are 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and 60 minutes. I typically do your readings within 24 to 48 hours. I also have a new feature, same day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your readings the same day. I also have an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes, so please be sure to write your email addresses correctly so that I can email you back fairly quickly. Also on the website, jamiezebra23.com, I've got full-size candles, do-it-yourself love kits, protection kits, prosperity kits, crystal stones, pendants, Florida water, Florida water soap, incense sage. Um, I've also added something new to the website. It's a 10-minute tarot card reading for $25. It's not the reading special. This is something different. This is something that will be on the website all the time. Um, for you guys to purchase at any time. All right, guys, also keep in mind that these are general readings. These are not personal readings, so they may or may not resonate. So please be sure to um, check out your sun, your moon, and your rising videos for further insight. Um, so this is for Libra, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and cross watchers. Okay, so I do feel like you guys have a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo person that's going to be calling you. I feel like um, whoever this Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo person is, I feel like they mean it. Um, it's almost like they've got this like youthful energy about them. It's kind of like, and then I, I can't wait to kiss you. And then I wrote you a poem and then I did this and this could be a man or a woman, but who's ever, I feel like they're stable, good people, but I feel like maybe you might think that they're coming across a little bit cheese ball, or this could be you that's coming across a little bit cheese ball, but I feel like it's genuine. I do see that some of you are currently dealing with a an Aries, man or a woman. I feel like this Aries man or woman is a little bit possessive. Um, I feel like they also come across as stable, but I think that possibly they could be um, doing what they could be accusing you of. So just be aware of that. Kind of like when somebody says, you're a liar, you're a liar, but you know, really they're the liars. Or you're a cheater, you're cheating, but really they're the ones that are cheating or wanting to cheat or attempting to cheat. So just be careful with this Aries and make sure you're, you're paying attention. Because for some of you, you might be like, oh, this poor guy or this poor woman so insecure when really they're doing the same shit that they're accusing you of doing. So just, just be careful with that energy. I also see that with this King of Wands, which could very well be a queen, um, this is somebody from the past. They could possibly be married. So maybe when you first were talking to them, they were not married. But now they are, and they're trying to reach out to you. So I feel like, or they have a fiance, and I feel like this person, um, I feel like for some of you, you might be like, okay, I thought you were happily married. What do you need me for? Well, think about it. What do they need you for if they're happily, they're not, they're uh, first off, they're obviously not happily married if they're looking outside the marriage. Second, they're probably looking for sex because they can't really parade you around and show you off if, uh, if they're married, right? So this could be a man or a woman that's manipulating and doing this. But I feel like for some of you, you're going to take the bait and you're actually going to have sexual relations with them. And I feel like for some of you, you might start dating them as though, you know, the person's single, but they'll have to keep you a secret. Um, I do feel like for some of you, there's a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio romantic situation or a Leo situation with you guys coming up. And I feel like this would be a long-term relationship. I feel like some of you are pulling out of a karmic relationship with someone this week. And it's kind of like you wake up in the morning and you're like... We're soulmates, whereas before you guys were waking up in the morning or at two in the morning, three in the morning, five in the morning, ah, freaking out on this person because it was a karmic relationship. So whatever karmic relationship this is, it looks like it will be healed for some of you this week. And I feel like it's going to help you guys to move forward. You guys might also be signing documents this week as far as like a marriage license or the, the venue for the, for the engagement party or for the wedding. Whatever this is, it's a partnership forever. Also, some of you are signing birth certificates this week. Um, I feel like once, uh, once a baby is born, I feel like somebody's going to propose. I also feel like some of you this week, you... You might be pregnant and having babies this week, but it's kind of like maybe the person you're pregnant by, they, it wasn't like, it was like they're, they know you're pregnant. They know you're having a baby, but it's kind of like they, they're not looking at it as something real. It's sort of like mentally they're not, you know, clicking. It's not clicking like, okay, there's a baby about a real person, a human being about to pop out and, you know, it's going to cry and need to be fed and loved. Somebody's not thinking about that. But once the baby's born and they see the baby, 
they're going to burst into tears and they're going to be like, oh my gosh, there's a baby. And you're going to be looking at them like, where have you been the past 10 months? Um, sometimes people are like that. You know, a lot of people, they need to see the baby to believe the baby. And, you know, sometimes even mothers are the same way. They could be carrying a baby and they need to actually see the baby born before it, like, clicks. Oh, my goodness, I had a baby. You know, not everybody, but for many people, it's, you know, their instincts kick in a little later. But there's nothing wrong with that. But I do feel like a marriage or a relationship or a situation where there was a pregnancy and somebody wasn't sure if they wanted to be in a relationship with you or if you weren't sure if you wanted to be in a relationship with them, I feel like somebody's going to now say, okay, we need to be a family. We need to be together. We need to work this out. So congratulations to those of you that are in that situation. Now, let's do a little bit of just a general. I do feel like there is going to be job offers coming in. You filled out your applications, you put out your resumes, job offers coming in. I feel like whoever your boss is, is going to be a very stable person. I feel like there's a father figure, father or mother figure, that's a, that's a, that's a um, Sagittarius or Aries. They're going to want you to be a part of the family business, or they're putting you in the will, they're letting you know there's something that's being left to you. Um, I don't feel like anybody's gone yet, but it's sort of like, okay, we got to prepare for the future now. So don't get freaked out about it. It's documents that must be signed, paperwork that needs to be gone over so that everybody knows where they stand so that there's no confusion later. You might not understand it right now, but you'll understand it later. Um, some of you will feel like it's morbid talk and like, why are we talking about this now? Um, I also feel like with this Two of Cups energy, some of you are moving into new apartments, new townhouses, you're signing leases this week. So congratulations about that. I also feel like a lot of you, um, you'll be on the phone with like a electric companies and you're going to be confused. Maybe somebody ran up a bill in your name and you weren't aware of it, but I feel like it'll be kind of explained away or a payment plan or something of that nature to where you, you'll still be able to get your utilities turned on and not have to pay off that whole crazy bill. All right, guys, have an amazing week. JamieZebra23.com. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Ta-ta for now.